some of my older hard drives. Uh, one little thing that intrigued me was a lick I think I created in 2007 or something like that. It doesn't really matter as it turned out to be quite a challenge for me to play even today as I revisited it. Uh, so I thought I'd provide the tap and the backing track because I'm pretty curious to see how you guys deal with that lick. So feel free to, to attempt it and post a video response to this video of you playing it. Looking forward to that. Cheers! Okay, let's have a look at how this thing goes slow. Uh, what it is, it's basically just a series of arpeggios sequenced in a few different ways. Uh, mostly utilizing string skip arpeggios as well as the old free string traditional arpeggio type patterns. And if you put them together and play them slowly, it goes like this. All alternate picks. A little scalar sequence. Which, to be honest, sounds horrible when you play it slow because there's this E right here uh, that clashes with the E flat minor harmony. So it's just a ghost note because if you play it fast, uh, it doesn't really matter. You, you don't you don't hear it. It's just something that fills up the space. So we go into two more arpeggios, both B major, and the same thing, two frets up. Then comes an interesting little E flat minor sequence, goes like this. That's actually where I use some some pull-offs and sweeps. Uh, I'm just gonna play it once more. I'm not really sure how I'm playing it if I'm playing it fast because it's something I'm doing intuitively, but I hope that's how it goes. And then a series of sweeps, which is the most unforgiving part because you have to do an awful lot of shifting in the in the left hand. Just going down all the inversions of E flat minor. And then the same thing. 